All right, we are off and running. Here we go. So this is Steak Tic Tac Foe. Two great yep. racers. These guys are classics. Classic Condor racers. Love it. Long time. Both of them? Yeah, Tic Tac Foe's been around for quite a while. Uh, Tic Tac Foe, uh -huh. I think, was actually um, a viewer in my channel before Condor. I could be wrong about that. Uh... And then he kind of got into it, and now he, he streams it and races it, which is really uh -huh. cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's an all-around nice dude, like just really cool guy. And of course, Steak, uh, like I said earlier, is also the nicest. One thing uh, you'll notice uh, about both of these racers is they both have fantastic character skins. So we don't ban yes. changes in character skins. We encourage it because it adds a little oh, bit okay, of personality. Okay. Yes, uh, we like yes, to have people true. have uh, unique character skins. Yes. So and, yes. and we largely see that, and I think that's really fun. So obviously, mm, Steak mm. is a steak on a steak. <laughs> which is amazing. <laughs> All right, not steak on a steak, but steak on a steak. <laughs> steak on a steak. Okay, yeah. It's a... So and uh, and his his uh, armors are also pretty unique as well. As you saw earlier, the yeah, plate mail he... was yeah. a bucket. It's, I assume a steak right, in a bucket, a bucket, which is great. Uh... <laughs> um, really, really fun. Uh, Tic Tac Foe, his uh, his general layout in his stream yeah. is very orange. He's got a lot of orange everything. All uh, right, I see. And so his Black's character orange. is basically orange cadence, which is cool. Got to be careful. That uh, dranglin over oh. there. Tic Tac Foe with some mad dranglin getting, getting oh, stepped on, oh. but he's got the greater freeze charm. Uh, now he's going to get oh. himself a leprechaun. Oh, now you'll notice mm. that every time someone has a one uh, one range weapon, and yeah. gets the leprechaun, they yeah. dig buffer. And that's because it takes seven beats for the leprechaun uh -huh. to spawn. So you need to basically waste one of those beats so you have an even number so you'll be in front of the leprechaun when he spawns. Instead oh, of, uh, instead of him doing. being a little further away and then he runs away from you like a punk. So, uh, oh, and look right. at that gorgeous shop for steak. What a nice shop. Oh. That's, that's really, really good. All of these wep items are really nice to get early. Of course, the oh. uh, the lead boots is great for zone three and four. Yes. The uh, crown of thorns, which it looks like he's gonna skip because he does have some oh. delicious ham. Oh, tic tac foe bombing himself. Youchers, let's yeah, get yeah. A, let's get a replay on that there. What you do here? Did I? Oh, here we go. We got it right here. So we'll see what happens. It looks like he went up. He might have just mistimed. Oh yeah, he did that. He, uh. he bombed a little early. He needed to go up and then to the right. Hey. Let's see if he can. Oh, That's this is one of the player three and player four cadences. My bad. I forgot about that. Huh? Yeah, this game used to have, uh, when it was originally designed, it was going to have up to four player local multiplayer. All right. Um, there was a way to do, oh! do that way back in the day with the debug menu, um, but I think that's oh. since been removed. And so Stake throwing his glass shard, or sorry, his glass dagger, I think that's totally fine. It's, if you want to do a mm. quick kill mm. on a boss, totally cool. Uh, gets himself a blood spear. Not the best weapon in zone three. You're uh, gonna want damage by this point. Oh, and rip oh, his uh, shovel. Oh, and this is oh. really bad. Oh, he didn't oh. eat the ham. Nice. That is, Ew. now that is oh. next level strats right there. So I don't know if you saw, oh, this is so bad. He's got, he's got riders after him. This oh. is so sketchy. <laughs> Steak with the dranglin. Beautiful <laughs> dranglin by Steak. Nicely done. And heals himself up. Picks up his glass shard. He's still got a shovel. Oh. Although digging so with a, good, a shard yeah. of glass sounds pretty difficult. <laughs> it was, so it's a good job he changed his dagger. Yeah. Well, that's oh, true. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, he would have been without weapon as well. Oh, um, but that was wow. some really wonderful dranglin. He could have had himself in a really bad situation with uh, oh. when he sort of poked out there and then he had the riders yeah. after him as well. Yeah. Uh, it was really sketchy. Hey. Picks up a uh, picks up a flail. And those clappas, though, they're the worst. But those are, yeah, I know. They're so Yo. difficult to handle. <laughs> and I'll never like, forget when the yeah. the balls of steel three. So another interesting fun fact was yeah. balls of steel, which of course is the Isaac uh, racing, actually did a necrodancer race. Their third balls oh. of steel was a rate was a necrodancer race. And I oh. remember uh, one of the commentators, Richard Hammer, yep. saying how easy the Clappas are to deal with and how they never <laughs> kill anybody. And he could oh. not be more wrong. <laughs> Those guys murder everybody all day, every day. They oh, will track you down. Man. You're on yes. your way to work. You're in a commute. 
and uh, you know you're hanging out in your office. You think everything's fine. You're just typing away on your keyboard, running oh, through some that. spreadsheets. All of a sudden, every four beats, you'll just hear this clapping sound and the oh, snow man. flying everywhere. They'll be hunting you down where you work, where you live, oh, where you hang out. Man. Everything. Clappers are coming out. Oh, that's you. the fear. That's the fear there. <laughs> yeah. Fear-inducing, those guys. Look at them. And they're yes. so jolly about it, too. That's the worst part. Most of the enemies yeah. are pretty neutral in the face. Yeah. But those clappers but are having guys. a great time just clapping your face. Yeah, but the interesting thing is that they sometimes add a beat to the song. Like, when there's, like, two or three clappers together, they're like, clap, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they yeah. got the they rapid fire beat clap there. going. Oh, I know. It's yeah, craziness. Oh, <laughs> wow, that was a lot of damage Tic Tac Foe just took there. He's still Aye. alive, but he just lost all of his health. And that's thanks to the whip unable to uh, run away and that's why a lot of uh sort of you know we yep. were talking earlier about how rookies yeah. tend to like the whip yes but yes yes a lot of the sort of more competitive racers uh -huh. don't because you're trying to scoot through enemies and you get hung up on uh. them because you have to attack uh, the whip. but with the cat you can't move right yeah with the cat yeah. you can you can move so you don't get hung up as much but right, an interesting bomb placement for stake there mm. not sure what the plan was he did bomb an enemy but he could have just killed it so i don't know mm. <laughs> interesting <laughs> sure well, why not looks like he's gonna use that bomb statue there that's another fun fact there you can knock those bomb statues away the ones with the eyes closed yeah. So they're not as scary as, as first advertised because they look super scary and you die from yeah. them a lot early when you first start playing there's still uh, a use of those, yeah. But yeah, you can you can knock them around. Oh, well, when do they explode? What's um, the nation? It's basically, it's like time you hit them oh. plus one, and down goes Tic Tac Foe. He was yeah, a yeah, ticking yeah. time bomb with his health situation. <laughs> it was really really bad. He was sporting half a heart for a long time. He also had Whip Cat, sorry, yeah. Whip Courage, which is a sketchy Ooh, yeah. sketchy item. And yeah, he just got uh, fire slimed there. Just sort of miscalculated it. Uh, probably thought he'd be able to hit the, the slime, and and and, uh, and he didn't. He, the slime sort of juked his whip attack. Uh, Stake going really calm, I guess. Yeah, he's secure. Yeah, he's going to slow down. Stake, of course, a very seasoned veteran when it comes to racing, so he's yep. guaranteed watching uh, Tic Tac Foe to know where he's at, and seeing Tic Tac yeah. Foe die like that is going to... Oh, that got a little sketchy there. Um, but seeing him die like that is going to... Um, for sure, make stakes slow down a little bit. Make sure he gets, uh, uh, yeah. uh, gets this. this victory. Yeah, especially with only one heart. Yeah, he's got to be careful. Um, I would pick up none of those things if I was stake. And he doesn't. He moves on, gets okay. his heart back. He does have the ring of regen, so he's going to be able to get oh, his yeah. health back pretty quickly. All right, all right. Seasoned. Ooh. That was not supposed to be a joke. But if you want to laugh at it, you want to take it as a joke, <laughs> put it in your pocket, I'll encourage it. I don't mind. I'll even take credit for it. That's fine. <laughs> I was I was using seasoned in in the appropriate term, in that he has. Oh my God, the pixie kiss is real for Steak there. Um, anyways, we are off and running here. Steak in a bit of a precarious situation. Finds a glass shop. Probably was looking for some glass armor just to help save himself there, but doesn't yeah. find any. And mm. so he's gonna just try and make his way through. Of course, with probably everyone's most hated mini boss. You can correct yeah. me if you don't feel this way, but I'm going to assume, Jamon, that uh, the mummy is your, is your least favorite. Yeah, uh, the voice, uh, the way she or he dances. Pretty sure it's a she. <laughs> popping out the little babies. Oh, man. Most, the babies, man. The babies. Unless, I don't know, maybe she's a, a giant seahorse. Because I'm pretty <laughs> sure the males of the seahorses hold on to the babies in that, oh. in that animal. <laughs> There That's just go. some kind biology of... knowledge there for you. <laughs> in case you, some unsolicited biology information. <laughs> but yeah, it's um... <laughs> otherwise. I, I think it's female. I think I think, and and that's of course because her name is the mummy. All uh, right, yeah. But you know, mummy. Yeah, you know, hard mummy. to say. <laughs> this is really sketchy right now for Steak. I know. I know. Holy I crap! But I think oh. he's got it. Oh no! He oh, oh Steak! What? Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Everyone, pay close attention to the bottom of the screen right now. I, I am always itching to use this. There it is. <sighs> Steak with a dead ringer death. I have a specific <gasps> gif for when the dead ringer kills somebody. <laughs> Man, and we got ourselves a brand new race, nine and a half minutes in. Tic Tac Foe oh. with about a two floor lead here. Insane. Love hey. These races though, <laughs> so good. Oh man. Oh man, we thought Steak was just gonna do it, but. 
Oh no, dead ringer there. <laughs> Makes you wish there was a quote system. I don't know how I feel <laughs> about the quote system, Arachnus. I kind of feel like those quote things, it's like, yeah, they're funny, they're good, and yeah, we can reminisce. But I kind of like the special moment that we have together just right now, where you guys can think <laughs> about the fact that I was talking about a giant seahorse wrapped in mummy shroud. <laughs> and that's it. That's just for us. <coughs> that's all you have. It's just yep. me and, and all of you talking about yes. giant mummy seahorses. That's it. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, uh, that's all. That's going to be classic from now on, isn't it? Uh, uh, that is up to everybody else. Oh, and this is a steak with the blood uh, blood shopkeeper fight. Really nicely done. Gets Ooh. himself a glass rapier. The fastest oh. weapon in the game, bar none. But mm. we'll see if he can uh, keep it yeah. around. Because, of course, glass now with zone 4 is a lot harder to hang on to. Yeah, man, the damage. That shard, really. I forgot the word for bandages. I did. I said I said mummy shroud. I think that's not too bad. I think that still counts. <laughs> but you're right. I forgot the word bandages. Okay. Or you never get hurt, right? Well, they're not actually. I mean, that's true. <laughs> yes, I'm. I'm impervious to pain. I don't, I, don't, I don't get hit by it. But they're not actually bandages. Like a bandage is something you put over a wound. But a mummy is just straight dead. They don't have wounds. They're just a corpse, right? Am I right about Would that? Would you I say be... being isn't Ooh. dead uh, one of the biggest wounds you can have? <laughs> <laughs> See, now that's what we need a, a quote for. That is my favorite quote, I think. Isn't being dead one of the biggest wounds you can have? <laughs> I really can't argue with you there. I think you are correct. Oh, no, and Stake with the YOLO glass rapier strat gets aye. ripped apart. And aye, he, aye, he aye. quit out. He even quit out of there. Yeah, so We'll get yeah. a replay on that. You see, with the, with the glass rapier, you can just run right up the middle most of the time. But in that case, he got pawned. And, uh, uh. and that's it. <laughs> I don't know if I can comment Steak on that. <laughs> why? Tic Tac Foe now opening up yep. the gates with a, a substantial lead at this point. Yeah. Now, knowing Steak, he can go fast. Yeah. Um, he just got some bad RNG there. I would have done the same thing. I usually, with regards to that, uh, now you might be wondering what Steak's doing right now. He's not just <laughs> tapping, on the, yeah. tapping on the stone. He, of course, knew that the dragon was coming. We don't have yeah. his sound up. But if you did, you'd hear the stomping, and, yeah, yeah. and I guess you can kind of see it. He does have screen shake on. How do you feel about the screen shake? Do you leave that on, or did you turn it off? I leave it on, definitely. Yeah, you, you prefer it? You think it, it sort of has value? Okay, uh, the value, well, first, the atmosphere, right? It's, like, it's you point. feel someone, something, something is coming, right? And right. then you can kind of notice it. And when you're really concentrating, you can't hear the sound. Yep. Sometimes, like you know, you're absorbed in the music, or you're absorbed sure. in something else. Yep. Then you see the shaky. Oh, something, something's close. Okay, let's get ready. Nice. All yeah, right. I, I had to turn it off. It kind of made me feel sick one time. Like I just oh. felt a little bit dizzy ah, from it, right, right, so right, I turned right, it right, off. Right, right. And I actually think oh. I prefer it. But then again, I play Nuclear Throne. I don't know if you've played that game, but that game no, has no. like oh. about uh, 75 times the screen shake. As uh. an answer, <laughs> and it's it's definitely uh, very enjoyable in that game. So, All right. Yeah, I think it is also preference. I don't there, get then. I don't get sick from it in that game. I don't know why. Oh, really? Huh? Like yeah. uh, f uh, first first person shooter games? No, I'm way good with those. The only time I've ever really felt sick with yeah. it's probably because of how much Necrodancer I play. Okay, now a quick, uh. quick uh, thing about Stakes uh, Gi right now. Yeah. Mm. Um, you'll notice that he has floppy stake arms in addition to the Gi wrapped around the stake at the bottom. It's oh, the yeah, attention okay. to detail that really is, is what I Whoa. appreciate about Steak here. You'll see he's got little floppy steak arms on his steak. Oh! You see those little <laughs> floppy arms there? I love it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can you say that three times? <laughs> floppy steak arms? The floppy steak arms on his steak. Floppy steak arms on his floppy steak arms? No. I, <laughs> I, I immediately just like jettisoned myself from that. There's no way I'll be able to. No. Oh, and I was quite amazed you said it the first time. Wow. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, good stuff. Yeah, so he's currently it, doing yeah. eight damage with that, uh, that hey, whip. This glass whip is wow. oh, flipping it over to a glass flail like he knew. That was nice. So now he's got an eight damage oh, glass flail. That's like pretty good. Pro. <laughs> I think what he's going to want at this situation is a contingency yeah. plan. He's going to want to find like a holster, something where he can get another weapon, or perhaps oh, just right, some more nice. health. Uh, but I guess he's just full YOLO at this point because he does yeah. have the, uh, the gi. So if he takes damage, Whoa. he's probably going to die. Whoa, so, okay. 
What did you say he was, he was looking for? I was <laughs> gonna ask you. What are you trying to do there? <laughs> I think it's Elad, please. Like this. Or is it this? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my god. I don't Whoa. know these commands, guys. <laughs> I just run this channel, that's all. I don't know the commands <laughs> in it. Whatever, guys. Oh, we got oh blue blip. Here. Nicely done there. Yeah, there's the rapier quick kill strats. Mm. So it works something like 80% of the time. Mm, um, mm. I have not taken the time to learn them. I probably should. But instead, I just kind of guess. But I also don't race very much because... Uh, really? Oh. Because um, oh, yeah. I, I run the racing league more than... So the only racing I actually end up doing... Oh, this is so scary for steak. I knew it. What were you doing, Steak? Oh! Running, oh, and rip Steak. Oh. Now this was super dangerous. I don't know why he did this. Now keep in mind that he's got a glass yeah. flail, and he's just wandering yeah. off onto those hot coals willy-nilly, and, hey. and with, a, with, a, with a glass flail, if enemy, any enemy jumps Anything? in near you, yeah. you're gonna attack it, take damage, lose your flail, uh. and you have the, the gi as well, you're gonna take double damage. Yeah, yeah. Hey. That was yeah, a questionable I... decision by Steak there. A little uncharacteristic in my opinion. Was he trying to like catch up, I guess? Maybe. Yeah, that's I uh. guess the probably the best answer for that for mm. sure is that he's just he was pushing a little too hard. Yeah. That's the hard part in like speed runs or racing, I guess. Yeah, when you feel you get that, that uh... awesome meta game, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good for us, but it's not good for steak. <laughs> entertainment. entertainment. Yeah, <laughs> got some good entertainment value for sure. The yeah, entertainment for someone suffering, I guess. Huh? Yeah, and it, it was a white. Oh. That's true. Smoke pipe. Those guys kind of suck. They're just kind of annoying. They just pop out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. That's why you need that Nazar charm, like what we got on Tic Tac Foe there. That's that blue medallion. That thing he's wearing. Kind of looks like a participation medal, but it's actually <laughs> way more valuable than one of those. <laughs> All right, and actually, I really like his build right now. It's super healthy. He's got the heavy mm, plate, mm. so I think that's a two and a half damage. Is that a? No, I think it's a two heart protection. I'm not. It says heavy, that. but it doesn't matter, right? The heaviness. It does actually. It does. You don't bounce on bounce traps. And oh. You don't get pulled on wind spells. Oh. But it does so not it... protect you from other things lead boots do, which because lead boots kind of have the heavy effect as well. But uh -huh. they protect you from spike traps uh, uh, and that sort of thing. But uh, and also wind and also bounce traps. But the heavy mm -hmm. plate mm -hmm. protects you from the wind spells as well as the bounce traps. Oh, so not. Spike I was traps. wondering. If, yeah, I wonder if heavy was a negative uh, thing or positive. So it's positive, I think it's definitely. pretty much positive. Yeah. There's, there's <laughs> unless it also doesn't protect you from ice. Oh yeah. So if you don't, if you forget <laughs> what about that. What we talked about, I remember what? talking about this a while ago. What it should do is make you fall on the ice and just sort of lay there and unable to get up like a turtle <laughs> on your back. Because it's just a big plate of, like there's no way you'd be able to slip around on ice. Oh, I mean, I'm Canadian, that's... I know ice. And when you fall and you're wearing like a big snowsuit, the struggle is real. Oh, wow. That's, the, well, that's a real death situation, right? Watch oh, that's there. cool. <laughs> hey, that's oh. awesome, Zoe. Amazing. Zoe, thank you so much. And if you uh, want to do that again in the, in the future in a more, like, uh, official way, let us know and we'll make sure to get uh, it set up as easy as possible. But, yeah, that's really cool. Um, again, uh, we want to – we would love – we've been trying for a while. Um, there's been a few road bumps. Those aren't – that's not the right word. Speed bumps along the <laughs> way in terms of getting uh, Condor Japan and Condor Galactic, as we call ourselves. Uh, together, um, but yeah, if you want to restream on Nico Nico, that is amazing. Thank you so much, though. That's really really cool. Uh, we greatly yeah, appreciate also, it. Uh, I could have streamed also, man. Can I start streaming well, now? You had your chance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Zoe's now. No, I don't know. I, I don't really mind. <laughs> Everyone can do it. Uh, at least I should tweet it. Okay. Uh, tweet it. Tweet oh, it. falling on the ice should break it. That's interesting. Oh, ah, that's great idea. Imagine with the lead boots, you stomp on the ice and break yeah. the ice, and then yeah. it's not there anymore. That would have been really cool. That would have made a little mm -hmm. more sense because I never really understood why. I mean, they they have like little grippies on the bottom, so maybe that's yeah, why. Yeah. But... Uh, All right, Tic Tac Foe is on to his boss fight. Let's see if he can finish this yes. off. This was a very lengthy race. We're we're yes. about twenty minutes here. 
Um, so hopefully he can finish it off. I don't actually know how many bombs he has. It's hard for me to see. Looks like he's got Bullet. one more. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so, yeah, so he he's good to go. It. Oh. And there we go. Oh, cool. So Thanks, probably, Zephyr. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, we've maybe been partly... I, I think we're probably mm. to blame on why there hasn't been more Condor Japan, Condor Galactic things going on. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. We should definitely get some more stuff going on there because we love the Japanese community. These guys are great. Uh, thank and, you! And, uh, specifically <laughs> the art. Holy oh. crap. Oh, man, yes. Our art sucks. <laughs> Condor Galactic's got to step up the art game. <laughs> I don't even know who, but oh, yeah. Man, those I mean, are, our yeah. our layout was done by Grom Falloon. He did a wonderful job on our layout. Uh, but otherwise, um, yeah, we don't have a lot of uh, Condor fan art, which uh, would be really cool. But yeah, yeah, your guys' art is insane. All right, GG Tic Tac yes, Foe tic -tac with a bunch of a bunch of deaths everywhere for everybody. But we got through it, guys. We also got the Dead Ringer gif off. I'm not sure if you got to see that there. Uh, Jamon. At the bottom, right? Yeah, yeah boom, the boom, guy the bell. There? Yes, yeah. I did, I did, I did. That was cute. That was cute. <laughs> so this is... Was this the second race? Right. Uh, that was the first race, actually. Right. <laughs> it is very long, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, that was well, a this, long race. That was a Yeah, drama race. happening. Yeah. yeah, so we're we're about two races behind. We wanted to start the, uh, the halftime show around now, but that's okay. We, we right. allotted 30 minutes for the halftime. It shouldn't take that long, so I think it'll be good. Uh -huh. Mr. Butts, just waiting for the Condor Continental Team Championship now. Yeah, we need to, we were going to branch out. We were going to have a uh, Condor Jmon, which is the European uh -huh. one. So oh. Condor, if you can imagine how that's spelled, with E-U-R at the, at the end there <laughs> for Europe. <laughs> So that was All something right. we were going to do. We have a lot of European racers who are in there. Speaking of which, Stake is one of them. Stake is from, I don't know. I forget. Oh. But he's definitely but European. Somebody... I should know, oh, okay. but I don't. There it is. Arachnus posted it. Condor. There we go, Condor. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing any time limit today uh, because we don't enforce time limits on the off stream. So we're not going to enforce time limits on the on stream because yeah, then it's sort yeah. of a disadvantage for people yeah, who yeah. Uh, are on stream. We want it to be equal, so that's why we're um, we're doing it that way. Yeah, I, guess yeah, that's, I know Condor. Right. It's because I'm Canadian and I say things weird. I don't know how to say Condor. <coughs> Condor. Oh, he's Condor? from Denmark. My bad. Condor. Oh, okay. Condor. You just have to say it kind of French. Condor. <laughs> Le Condor. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, there gotta pronounce it more Frenchly. Yeah, just like a tractor said there. <laughs> Can't do it. Although I don't know how the other Europeans are gonna feel about that. <laughs> I don't know how the British are gonna feel. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. But what I don't want to do now is get into doing a bunch of accents because that got me into trouble last time. <laughs> so, really? Not wow. actual trouble. Yeah, but <laughs> but people are like, oh, now do this accent. I'm like, mm. oh wow, yes. <laughs> yeah, and then things get a little sketchy. Oh, I like the little housekeeping steak did there with that crate just to get it out of the way. Actually, yep. opened it up with the dragon. Really nice. Wow. Play. That's wow. that's the thing we were talking about earlier about sort of seeing a few beats ahead. Yes. But he yes. doesn't want those uh, boots of ballet. He's got his yeah. uh, his Dora the Explorer boots, so that's nice. Yeah. Same boots with the ballet, Scottish yeah. accent, Fubzo style. Yeah. <laughs> nobody can, nobody can Praise talk him. like Fubzo. Can. <laughs> that guy, he's he, he claims to be Scottish, but we're all convinced he's from some other planet. <laughs> oh, and we got a donation there. $5 donation oh. from Blind Umpire. So hyped okay. for the beginning of Season 3. Plus, I just want to see K-Dunce again. Of course, K-Dunce <laughs> is the uh, horrifying Cadence uh, image that popped up on the screen there. Yes, trying to get ham, I guess. <laughs> Most, yeah, trying to nom the ham. Most of chat likes it. Uh, Ryan Clark hates it. <laughs> because, of course, Cadence is his baby, and we are ruining yeah. his baby. <laughs> Straight up. We have babies for dinner. <laughs> There's the, uh, the best art of the Condor Galactic, K Dunce. Yes, K Dunce is everyone's favorite. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that yeah. one, Sir Chill Reeve. Yeah, that was um, basically what happened is my personal donation alert is that same thing, but my dog Charles jumps and eats it. And then oh. um, because we wanted to make it a little bit more Condor related, yeah, um, yeah. we got artist Grom who made our layout to basically mimic the Charles image, 
but make it cadence, so the tongue hanging out and all that stuff. Uh, this is why Cadence looks particularly uh, dog-like in that. <laughs> there you go. Wow, wow, there's all the difference there. Very nice to have something different. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, we should have a we should have an art off. Actually, no, we would get wrecked. <laughs> Never mind. I take it back. We could have like a Condor Japan, Condor Galactic art off. Oh well, it would be. Uh, I think no. I think it would be interesting to see the difference. Yeah, what, I think there yeah, would be. Yeah, will, I think the yeah. styles would be very different. In yeah, that styles the Japanese good. one would be really good, and ours would be really bad. I think that's <laughs> largely what we've come to understand here. <laughs> Oh, and I know yeah. Steak wants to open that urn. I know he does. Yeah, yeah he's definitely going to save that dragon, see if he can get the dragon to break open the urn. Uh, uh. Oh, he kills the dragon oh. instead. But he's going to get himself a nice leprechaun. There you after go. his lucky charms. From this urns. The Steak ho holster. It? Smoke pipe, I'm going to bet it won't be helpful because holsters are terrible. They never <laughs> work. Oh! Kid oh. Tech goes down, bombed. Let's get a replay on that one. What happened? I actually missed it. I was looking at uh, Steak's screen there. Oh, he stepped on a bomb trap and then he got caught by the... Oh, that sucks. That's the, the difficulty with the flail sometimes. Speaking uh, of flail, it looks like Steak lost his flail. I missed it. They did. Oh, yeah, I missed that too. Damn, yeah. we have our commentators. There you go. Didn't work. <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> no work. Uh, didn't work out with the holster there. So I was oh, correct. Man. So I'll yes. take a point there. <laughs> point for the commentator. <laughs> the art off. Yeah, well, we still have to have Comdor as well. C O M D O R, which is our commentator tournament. Oh. Uh. <laughs> where all of our various commentators face off somehow. Who can commentate a match the best? Comdor. Yeah, that's a good one oh, as well. Uh, oh, we have too wow. many ideas in this community. <laughs> like, legit, too many. Like, it's bad how many ideas we have. <laughs> Someone needs Someone to stop us. Uh, well, at the least try it out, right? The police are going to show up. Yeah, I think it's worth <laughs> trying. You never know. Yeah, it might be the it. best thing. It might be so much yeah. better than Condor. Just having <laughs> people commentate. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, uh, oh, they can commentate whilst they play. Yeah, we could have that too. Yeah, we've yeah. only done that a couple times on our in our Condors. where um, One was the dance pad one where oh. I was in the commentator's booth while dance padding. And it made it so much more difficult. <laughs> Wait, wait, so you're like heavy breathing and then commentating, right? Yes, yeah, you just hear a lot of... <laughs> uh, just wheezing. Yep. Alright, let's backpack see. Backpack is so... best item. Yeah, backpack's pretty cool. Yes. Because you always... When you always need them, you never have them, do you? <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Then who is phone? Yeah, steak is holster. That is true. Commentator's <laughs> gone wild. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not go, let's not go there. There's a reason we don't have a commentator cam on. <laughs> yeah, quite a few reasons there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's, so Steak is looking for a weapon, I guess. Yeah, Tic Tac Fo is currently building up his build. Uh, Steak yep. is ahead though. Tic Tac Fo did have that death. Um, Steak, not a lot. Yeah, he definitely wants a weapon. Not a lot going on with his build right now. He does have the boots uh, for zone four, which is nice, but they're not really helping uh, him out too much here other than protecting yeah. him from the... There's his weapon. Oh! You can always trust uh, like a later boss arena to have a pretty uh, decent weapon in it. And there mm, you go. Mm, mm. City and Longsword, wow. really good item. And no problem at all with the bosses. Yeah, yeah, very good for the bosses, especially <laughs> Death Metal, actually. You'll see Death Metal three damage is ideal. Because you can, uh, you hit him and then you can get another hit on him before he teleports. Oh, and then he's only got right. one more hit remaining. So three damage Whoa. is actually the perfect amount. Unless Whoa. you have an obsidian rapier, then what you want to do is three damage and then you do the lunge for six and kill him. Oh! Yeah, it's super wow. fast. But there's Steak really swapping over. Now, I forgot, Ooh. I can't believe I haven't mentioned this yet, but we are talking about Steak here. I forgot yep. to say, Steak's thing is glass. Always, always, always take glass. He loves glass. Oh! And I always give him a hard time about it because I find that, yeah. you know, you break glass all the time in this yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. And he's been breaking glass. I mean, yeah. he's not... He's he he's partly victim, falls victim to the, the glass curse that you get in this game yeah. as well, but uh, he still picks it up. He loves the glass. Well, it's amazing how he can live with it. <laughs> 
So, you know, th taking glass has a great, great risk there, right? Just one damage and then you're nearly done. Yeah, yeah, it can be really bad, especially if you're oh. in a swarm and the enemies swarm yeah. over your glass shard. What yeah, do, oh, right? man. It's very oh, hard man. to go through the game without getting hit once. That's pretty much yeah. what you have to do with glass. Oof. Took a little bit of damage there from a blade knight. Yeah, and the bone was right next to him, too. Let's see. Gets himself some holy water for a heal. That's always <clears> something <throat> you don't really necessarily want to do, but if <clears throat> you have to, you have to. So I'll be interested <clears throat> to see if he picks up that glass longsword. Looks like he's not going to. Yeah, playing it safe see, now? I, I think most people wouldn't, except for maybe <laughs> Stake. Like, Stake is the only one who I thought maybe would pick up that thing. Over. Oh, no, sorry, he has a rapier. Oh, he has the holster, of course. So he's got the rapier and the... That's cool. Obsidian longsword. Oh. So actually, I would have considered it, con uh, like, oh. considering he's got yeah. the holster. Ooh, a couple mm. hits for... A couple free hits from Deep Blues on Tic Tac Foe there. Let's see. Going for. Steak has an upper hand here, hasn't he? Yeah, well, I mean, Steak yeah. is ahead. Uh, there was the one death from Tic Tac Foe, but Tic Tac yeah. is now only two floors back. Of mm. course, it's right in Zone 4, Zone 4, which tends to be kind of more on the rails. Yeah. Like the timing yeah. is yeah. pretty guaranteed because there's no trap doors or anything like yeah. that. You can yeah. get kind of bad swarms or a lot of ghoulums mm. that can slow you yeah. down, but it can't. you can't really speed it up too much. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Gets a little pixie kiss there for some health, but quickly loses it. Yes. It's getting stepped on. Mm, mm, mm. Transmute your armor and ring. Who's saying that? What are you talking about, Jack? <laughs> oh, in the transmute shop. Yeah, that's true. Why is he not doing that? He might just be trying to go fast. But yeah, that's definitely a good call in that transmute shop. You're yeah. going to want to definitely do that. You have pretty much the worst armor. Yeah, that's true. Except for maybe the oh. gi in this situation. And yeah, your ring is not going to help you too much other than what it transmutes for you. Oh, oh. Um, actually, oh, that's, that's something we can talk about that's kind of interesting is how luck yep. works in this game. It's way more mm. complicated than people think. And I'll see if I, I can even remember. But basically, the way luck works in this game yeah. is uh, it ups your level yeah. that it considers... Wait, hold on. It's really complex. I'm sure someone in the chat's going to be able to say it way more eloquently than me. But basically, it ups the level at which you... Oh, this is off the rail stake! Oh, now, Dead no. Ringer didn't technically kill him, but uh, I think we got to do the gif anyways. Yep. <laughs> Game oh. over. Hey. Stake. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's the, yeah, you go up the rung on uh, Bell Rung. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jack giving Steak a bit of a hard time. A little bit deserving of the chirping from Jack of Games, I'd say. As uh, uh, he definitely should have transmuted stuff. Oh, that yellow monkey teleport. Beautiful. I love oh, it. Oh, wow. That's like my favorite was... strat right now. That's like what I want to see people do more. Is like if you're in a safe situation, which yeah. I would say Tic Tac Foe is. Yeah. Um, other than the fact that obsidian armor isn't that good. Because as soon as you get hit, it's all of a sudden yeah. other armor. Yeah. But the yellow monkey teleports are great. Especially if you got floaty boots, you're not going to get stuck on on uh, on the slime. Really? Yeah. That's so scary, though. No, but it'll like if you get the Yolo monkey early yeah. in the zone, yeah. you're guaranteed uh -huh. to get closer to the exit. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. But like you know, when when I die in zone four, that's usually the case. Monkey teleports me right in the middle of everyone. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. I had that happen to me on Bolt, and I didn't even understand what was happening, and I just got wrecked. <laughs> Sorry, boom, it looks boom, like boom. I either forgot the timer this time, or like I never started it, or I must have hit a button. I don't know. Sorry, it's running now. But this race has been longer, because Tic Tac Foe did die in this race as well. Yeah. This has been yeah. a, a very long race. Um, a little bit surprising, actually, because both these guys are, are veterans. So. Yeah. It's a little surprising that this has been that long, but you know what? That's okay. It's been a pretty hype race, I think. And it's up to Tic Tac Foe to finish this one off here and take yep. another victory off Stake, which Still again, I wish. would say Stake is the top seed in this group. He's, hey. the, he's the veteran compared to Tic Tac Foe. Tic Tac Foe's no slouch, but he's uh, but Stake has been he, yeah. Stake has won Condors in the past, and there it is, oh. another victory. Crazy Tic Tac Foe taking another victory. Very nice, very nice indeed. Hey. Hey. Oh, they were saying start the timer like 10 minutes ago. I'm sorry, chat. I ignored you. My bad. 
Next time, next time. Next time, yeah, I'm gonna yes. not miss it this time. I'm paying super duper attention. Here we All go, right. I got my finger on the trigger. As soon as they jump in, maybe even before, I'm gonna start that timer. <laughs> Wait for it. What? Wait for it. GG though, oh, guys. Shit. Yeah, very A nice. A new record, yeah. <laughs> yeah these, these have been some blisteringly fast races. We would have had some uh, tiebreakers for sure if we were running with a with a time limit. But like I said earlier, we can't mm. because we're not enforcing time limits on off-cast yeah. races, mm. so we can't do that. All right, all right. Oh, no! Oh, just as I clicked off the thing, they started. There we go. We're going, we're going. <laughs> the timer's okay? Timer's going. All right. We in there. Good. All right. Let's see if we can get a nice quick race out of these two here. All right. Let's see if they're going to get lucky or not. Oh, I, didn't totally, there. I didn't totally botch it there, Ghost Butts. I I, <laughs> I, I missed Tic Tac starting, but Steak started a little later, and I managed to get the timer between them starting. So I think that's totally right. cool. It's like an average. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's a perfect place, I guess. Oh, Ring of Phasing. Ring of Phasing. Oh, nice. Now, uh, he does not have a torch. That is goal the first when you get a Ring of Phasing. All right. Get a oh, torch, because oh, oh. uh, things get sketchy. All right. At least he has a potion, so he can die once, I guess. Till he gets a torch. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, he can just jump into spike traps and things if he really mm, wants mm. to. But he's got the uh, the monocle, which is really nice. And what he's got here is a decision on whether he'd rather take, if he'd like to keep the ring of phasing, or if he'd like to go mm. for the ring of regen. And actually, Stake can get the ring of regen too. I think Stake will take it. Oh. Ring of regen's never mind. Stake totally oh. ignores my advice. Oh. Fine, Stake. Oh. Fine. All right. Oh, and there's a re ring of regen anyways, Tic Tac Fo. <laughs> Too bad. You're going to take it. You're going to like hey, it. I, I, wow. That's so funny. There's the chances of that. Really. That's yeah, so wacky. I know. <laughs> so wacky. So that's three ring of regeneration in one yeah. game. In, in like one about one. Like 20 seconds. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now he's okay with health. He just needs a bit of weapon now. Yeah, sorry, I'm Oof. just gonna quickly chat. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Dance. Oh, two dragons on one screen now. Yeah, the Dranglin. Yeah. Stakes off to a pretty blistering start. Of course, yeah. instantly taking glass. Like I said, you'll see he takes the glass <laughs> shrine. Now he's got now he's got glass to worry about. I don't oh, know. Wow, that's, that's it's scary. scary. He doesn't have a bomb, <laughs> so he will not be able to take this free map. Uh, and so he's just, just going to be dropping down, down trap mm. doors. Takes so, and going that's for a pretty the slow speed zone one, as you can see. It's oh, uh. oh that bomb though. Oh, why? No, no, no! He almost jumped in the stairs without a oh. trigger. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, let's get that replay. That's so funny. So he he, I think he accidentally bombed instead of throwing. Then he ah. did throw, so he took the damage, was one beat away from jumping in the trap door, uh, picks up his dagger. Yeah, yeah. So he's still in this, he's got the ring of regen, but he's down a bomb. Oh, wow. He's only got a dagger. He missed the yeah. beat because of the the screwed up dagger throw, but uh, yeah, yeah. he's about to get a whole lot more health. Stake just losing his glass. Oh, what is no. happening here? It was a deep blues fight with a, he decides not to throw the spear. Hey, and what I'm... happens? He gets, oh, what? Oh. Wait, what? what? Hold on. How did that happen? I'm actually a little confused on how he took damage huh? there from the the queen. That's surprising. Well, a reset for stake. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. Hey, oh, Sir, yeah. Sir Chill Reeve. I saw, I saw something you wrote earlier. I didn't respond yeah. to it. I was probably yammering on about something different. Um, but yeah, definitely this game is a little bit of cat and mouse. Sometimes it's just a matter of not screwing up and hoping your opponent screws up and yeah. you can certainly find like this is definitely some uncharacteristic play from stake he is an mm. excellent excellent player he's had a bunch yeah. of mistakes and that might just be sort of a mind game thing right like now he's he's getting in his head you know yeah messing up and those sorts of things and that can really yeah. that can really affect your play yeah so, yeah yeah i think that reset just before he kind of had a mental reset also oh it was the oh, pawn yeah. that killed him okay never mind all oh, right yeah, I don't know if it's Rust or what. I know he was been doing hmm. some some Binding of Isaac racing recently, but Stake's usually pretty solid, so um, that's okay. I'm not gonna give him too much of a hard time. He just, you know, had, <laughs> had a bit of a struggle here. Um, he's got we everything glass, but what he wants. So, oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. That's oh, super wow. funny. 
So now he's got an 8 damage spear, which is pretty dandy. Uh, thing about the glass jaw is if you get hit, it insta-kills you. So uh, he's... Um, He's got to be careful not to get hit. Now he does have the glass armor that will protect him once before, uh, before he dies. Yeah, yeah. But the great thing about it is it doubles your oh, and that switch to a ring of mana. I don't know, a bit of a questionable call on Tic Tac Foe's side. I don't Has know if I would have done that. Spells yet. Uh, and he didn't. He might have heard me. <laughs> Although he tried to buy that Change torch point. again, and he still didn't have enough money. There you go. Um, yeah, he might have heard me. I think ring of mana is only worth picking up if you've got a spell and you. D and you have hmm. another like he has another good ring so it's yeah. not really worth picking up yeah. in that situation in my opinion uh what i was gonna say about the glass jaw though is it it adds double damage but after everything so if you've got like a ring of might now yeah. your ring of might is worth two like everything is worth double oh which is super cool so even your Whoa. wardrum i'm pretty positive about that although i've not practiced i've not tried it yeah but even yeah. your wardrum is worth uh Oh, this is what are you doing? Uh, oh. Tic Tac opts to take the the lucky charm instead. I don't oh. blame him. He's been running base dagger this entire time, and it's allowing Stake yeah. to catch up pretty dramatically, actually. Stake is on to his zone two boss, and Tic Tac's only on three one, three two now. But that's that's what happens when you don't get a good weapon, and and that has a lot to do yeah. with his uh, his boss fight there. So. This is how there's two different... And phasing yeah. pickup for steak. This is a pretty <laughs> absurd build. Uh, now, he needs a win here. He can't get 3-0'd by, uh, uh, by Tic Tac Foe. Like I said, steak is one of the top seeds here uh, mm, in this mm. tournament. He he shouldn't... Mm. He really should not get 3-0'd here. But he's on pace, too. Um, but uh, barely at yeah. this point as uh, Tic Tac... Although Tic Tac's build is gorgeous. I love it. That obsidian mm. uh, rapier really caps it off. Really improved his base dagger. So <laughs> nicely done. Yeah, two different ways of you know strategies here. One is going you know quiet, and one is really just. Well, this is stakes. This it. is stakes thing. He risks hard. Like he always goes for glass. Wow. But I mean, if wow. I were him, based on just the sort of way he's been playing, not yeah. to sound like totally negative or anything. Yeah. But he's been playing a little bit rusty like and so i wouldn't uh, be going full like crazy yolo uh, uh, in a situation so i would be i would be safetying up a little bit but that's uh, just not in stakes vocabulary he just needs yeah. to go fast 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 <laughs> now he did he's see a, a trap door there but i think he missed it instead he's gonna just oh. wander around with his ring of phasing aggroing every enemy in the level Ooh. all the Ooh. aggro <laughs> And Tic Tac um, could have gone for the could have gone for the one shot kill. Went for the safer kill strat here because he's doing six damage on a lunge, so he could have actually. Uh. Oh, this is scary for steak. Steak. So oh, no, no, no. Oh god. No. Oh god. The no, little no. demon baby's chasing him all Run, away. <laughs> run away. Run steak. We have uh. a runner. And remember, he really should not be taking any damage. Yeah. One hit, one and he'll damage. lose his armor. Another Ooh. hit, and he'll die. So he really has to be careful. It doesn't matter how many heal spells or hands or whatever you got. It does not matter. Oh, wow. 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 He's going to go through. Wow. This is some crazy <laughs> stuff, and he's still only about a floor behind. He's really trying to push here. He needs to yeah. get one, one victory here. This is three precious points that he might miss out on. And that Telemonkey, I love it, Tic Tac Foe. Keep it up. He's got a very oh. safe build right now. He's got the yeah. the the regen heal. He's got uh -huh. the boots, so he can't get shrunk. He's wow. got uh, the he's got oh, oh rip armor, but he's got yeah. um he's also got the potion plus the the five yep. hearts. So he's in really nice shape mm. here. Tanking a little bit of damage, really not too big of a deal. Mm, he can risk a bit. Yeah, but you're seeing Whoa. one thing that phasing is great at is zone yep. four. Look at that he's nice in... use of the shield Whoa. spell. Stakes just got to be careful because he does not have the appropriate boots. He did Oof. not bring the appropriate footwear for his journey down yeah. into the crypt. Will we find something? That troll um. gas, though, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, man. And there's a polter. There's like a several poltergeists. That's the problem with the uh, monocle. Ooh. And here's actually um, just as a tip for everybody yep. uh, when it comes to those poltergeists. If they're after you, what you want to do is you want to attack it and then move perpendicular. No matter which way perpendicular you move, you will, like he may move left or right, you're gonna deal with yeah. it. 
So if you move away from it, then that's fine. Then you just move towards it the next beat. And uh -huh. if you move into it, you'll kill it. So always go perpendicular. They're actually, it always moves um, clockwise from where oh. you attack it. Oh. oh. So, so it's, you can know where it'll always be. But if oh. you don't want to worry about that too much, the thing to yeah. do is just hit it and then move perpendicular. Okay. So in that situation, he was up against a shop wall. So hmm. he could attack it and then just move away from the shop wall so that you don't dig the shop wall and get hit by it, which is what he ended up doing. So, And that blood magic huh. shield spell, this is some chaos over on, uh, on oh, stake side. <laughs> Meanwhile, wow. uh, Tic Tac Poe a little off the rails with his dead ringer fight. Always a little dangerous. Oh, this is, this is scary. I hate having the ogre... Oh, never mind. Ogre down. Oh, so he killed the ogre, but now he's got. Oh, this is so scary. The horse. Oh, oh my man, the god. Horse. Oh, he, he, oh. There goes rip potion. Still in oh. this, but that see leaving that sarcophagus alive is really causing him some problems. But there he goes. He's yeah. got dead ringer. Dead ringer is down, and so now he Ooh. just needs to finish this off. Insane. Stake is on his dead ringer fight now. Can he get a quick kill? He can. He can quick kill dead ringer. Let's see if he does it. Oh. There it is, nice. Oh. You have the 10 damage on Dead Ringer, nicely done. And oh. there it is, quick kill. This might get a lot closer than we thought. Now the Whoa. bombs, uh, Tic Tac Foe does have enough bombs, so he's gonna get the fast fight on the de as on the Necrodancer, which is what you need. Here, we have not seen this yet. You'll notice Dorian's skin is a bottle of Tabasco to go with the steak. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> So with some Amazing. good teleports, Stake still has a chance at this. He's going to use his yes. glass shovel to dig out the Necrodancer and get a free hit. Oh, but he has the Ring of Phasing. He could have done a much faster kill here. I didn't even realize. Oh. The Ring of Phasing, you can phase right into the into the oh, really? um, stage. Stake oh. could have had this, but I think it's going to be going to Tic Tac Foe. He only has one more hit oh. left on the Necrodancer. I don't believe oh. it. And Stake oh. actually is in a bit of a sketchy situation, too, because he has the glass jaw. Oh. And that's it. GG. I don't oh, believe it. Tic-tac-toe, wow. th three O's, steak. Steak oh, had wow. the opportunity.